Okay, we are now officially live. TLG Gore Cops versus ULT Triangle. I keep forgetting. Uns Uncert love love tri triangle. Yeah. triangle. Uncert Love Triangle. There we go. We're looking at Lady being the assault. Snyla, as expected, a recon and looks like a support. Enignot, 12 being support, Smile being recon, and Beans being assault. So both lineups actually end up being as expected. Quick. Ghost play from Snala coming in here early intel immediately in the hangar. Smile going down as I was announcing the teams. Beans is holding a far back angle in Tarmac. Trying to play uh, Skyline in hangar. So there's a quick firefight on a sky bridge. It's evening out. Both teams having one person, uh, two people alive now. Smile. Smile and Enignot being gone, that means that they only have the the assault left in this situation. Lady being an assault with full HP and Snala just doing the intel, it's gonna be very hard to actually get out of the situation here. She's gonna get flanked by Snala. Oh, Milso kill. I <laughs> the TK. Oh shit. Oh, uh, right at the end. Oh man. Well. Lady was... would have had Corporal, wouldn't he? Ah, <laughs> shit. Well, it was that one little point that brings him further away from being a Corporal. It didn't downrank him, though. He was a private regardless. Still quite unfortunate, but Snala is Corporal right from the first round. Good for him. He chooses to use the ZRL, and he's taking the secured camera. That's the first time I've actively seen the set are long in any match so far. I We're think having some encounters one of in the, the basement. Few places you could use it. And we also have one of the few grenade kills that can be added to the stats to bolster those up a bit. And that also means that Gorkov's Gorkov's... playing the basement. Yeah, that also means that Gorkovs is in the advantage as well after that basement encounter has happened. It was a good bait with the ghost, getting him into Snap's sightline. Yeah, and Ignat is basically just compromised, and all he can do is rack up some kills, because I don't think he's able to pick up all three at this point. Not sure why he's going for the support rather than the ghost downstairs, because that would have been a kill for certain. I think he assumed he could get the uh, support, because the ghost wasn't going to fight back. He only had a touch here. Yeah. Gotta maximize those points in this situation, though. They've got a, a MX on Jin right now. It's kind of get a little harder. The ZRL back on Styla. Not only that, but they got three corporals. Like all of them already ranked up, and they're just two rounds yeah. in now. There's a big difference in points now, and Styla could get Sergeant in this round pretty easy. Many smokes just going up in the hangar and outside. Not that it's going to make much of a difference because Osaka is about to push into the situation and he, being the support, won't be stopped by those. NSF is kind of spread out. But they pinched uh, on Skybridge. Very it's clean. Nice. They didn't lose a single person. They have their yep. first corporal now. That is actually the support. Which then also means that they have an MX at their disposal to fight back the firepower that they're currently dealing with. It might not Jesus, be much. take a shot and swap. Well, he, it seems like he's not too keen on taking um, the MX, but... All three of them swapped, actually. Beans with the Aster M. Quick rush on defense from Snyla. It's Beans. Well, so far, Snyla seems very keen on holding the ghosts, even though he is a recon, giving some quick intel while pushing up. And then he usually just switches around the weapon once he has a pinpointed location, or it comes down to him having to actually engage and starts attacking. 
but Inignat seems to also end up being uh, the last person alive, I think, three times in a row now. Seems like trying the to figure out. left in the clutch position. He's gonna jump under the roof, isn't he? Nope. He's gonna keep playing the goat and rotate. It's very interesting though, because he seems to have the that are silenced, so they seem to have a triangle trade going on in Uncertain Love Triangle. Yeah, all three uh, swapped that round. Seems like they were trying to <laughs> Mosak <Mozart> brag. <laughs> Seems like they were trying to keep uh, ZR uh, silenced on ZR. ZR is silenced uh, <laughs> on the support. Well, I'm uh, not sure if there's a motive the behind this then. at all. There's not sure. I'm not sure if there's a motive behind that at all, but it seems to be that he took it for the lulz. At least I think they're trying to prior. I think they're trying to like prioritize uh, they keep alive or the positions they'll play. <laughs> Doesn't seem like it's working that way though. Snala is in a cheeky skybridge position, getting a good view of the tarmac as well as he's standing on there, allowing him to maybe make good use of that ZR long. He is about to see inning not if he's about to push up to the skybridge, which seems to be the case here. But get he seen. Away. Not a single shot connects with him though, so he's not in a bad situation. Instead he gets beans as beans he tried to push down. up the stairs. Nice. Nick not alone again. That was fairly quick of a round. 4 to 1 lead for Gore Cops here. Starting to look very grim with three sergeants now balling themselves, bolstering themselves up. Because now they have two MXs for certain. And uh, set our long to just do the scouting. Instead, they don't seem to actually trade weapons these rounds, as uh, this round on uh, Uncertain Love Triangle. Um, they are not really. The camera jump. They're not really swapping classes either on Uncertain Love Triangle, so um, maybe they're still relying on trying to find a way to at least deal with the situation without changing classes. It's now a very cheeky it's camera like spot to play here. Intel now. Nobody's really pushing. Everybody's just trying to get a first pick here and then start initiating something from there. It's funny the because they throat sick. With smile too. Oh wow! Like in two placement. Just interesting because they're seemingly avoiding each other for a pretty long time, and then at one point it just starts happening. They start initiating. The other rounds were a bit faster than this one, but in general it seems to be a play by pick sort of game. Ooh, that smile. 14 HP left. Beans clutch this, they were both really low. He's got the help for it. He's gotta play it carefully. He doesn't have the firepower to quickly take them down, though. That's like two shots each. At most. They are probably just playing it by time, looking at Osaka just relaxing behind the Ooh. containers all the way in their spawn. Beans trying to throw a nade in there. Time some, down, but post round points. Some post round points for both. Three sergeants regardless on Jinrai and uh, Uncertain Love Triangle having two corporals now. A corporal assault not really making much of a difference because usually the MX breaking it in a sergeant is a bit more uh, important than anything else in that regard. Definitely, but he opts to use the uh, M41 anyways. Maybe a wise decision, maybe not. I really can't tell because people seem to pick weapons and pull the most interest, 
most interesting stuff in those situations. Best example, Rainy taking a shotgun on lower tower mech and just pulling it off. So the ghost comes into play on Gory Cops and once again, just tossing it back here in the boops so he's getting rid of that real quick. It's now then kicking it off. This now has the tendency to go from roof to cubby a lot, just to make sure that you can pick off somebody there because they might not be expecting it. At least that's how it was with the setter along after he got caught off at the roof. In general, uh, old uncertain love triangle um, seems to just be holding it back with beans all the way at the back with the M41, trying to get some hits here Stan on was the pushing roof. Him. It catches him out though. Nice. Well, Osaka he cannot really pick could take this back. It'll I was be about hard to say, with the gun. Osaka really cannot see uh, on that distance, so he will be get he will be attacked if he goes through the roof. And he actually got shot twice or thrice by the time he was trying to peek and you know get intel in. Lady is just trying to see if he can see Beans there, just suppressing him now. But Bean still can pull this. Lady is on a health state where two to three hits will end him. And then there's just Osaka that's slowly closing in at the top of the stair. Ooh, was a good that, nade was, that nade was actually really close and could have finished him off. The idea was not bad and I feel like the M41, the way it was used, was not too bad. He's going with the M41 again, so I'm expecting a roof play in this case. Um, it's now like going away from the center along, sticking with a Jide Silence in this case. Whereas the other team members just stick to the weapons that probably are best for choice. The entry being from Snala, I think the fourth or fifth time right now. We got Smile returning this by taking out Lady. Now this means that both assaults are out of the game for now. Both recons nearly are on an equal health status as well, so things are getting really interesting for this round. Snella is going on a hit and run here, just changing positions as he shoots any knot over and over again. Ooh. Smile's clearly hit. doing the same with Osaka, but Osaka just turns around to finish him off. It would have been better if he would have jumped away, keeping the same way Snala did it, by just jumping by, damaging, and keeping the speed. Yeah. So it's down Ooh. to Enignat. I wonder if he still has Enignat smoke saw left. Him. There he goes. He didn't see him in the window in. either. Ooh, that was close, 1 HP on Osaka. Just the fact that he uh, tried his luck with Sir Smoke was very smart because that's the only reason I would I would actually say is the, that he got Snala there. Very devastating though to lose to Osaka with 1 HP. Must yeah. be quite frustrating, especially with it now being a 6 to 1 situation. Meaning that either they pull off to get back out of this, or they will have to move on to the second map to retry. The support being They're the lieutenant, off. they're still taking the MX instead. It's not like going Chinese for... Ivy spots. Yeah, he's going for the really cheeky spots here. They're gonna have to time out or win these match next couple of rounds, rather. <laughs> And Beans laid a proper foundation for this, killing Lady. Still a bit above half a health, not too bad of an encounter. Smiling gets Osaka. And now Snala is down by himself with a Sedar Long. Maybe not the best weapon to actually try to pull this off, but... Not sure what Smile did there, he just stood still. Oh man, he's gonna keep it? Or is he going to trade? I don't think it really matters in this regard. He's just trying to get the flank on at this point. 
He switched to the Jedi Silence, though. That's uh, a lot better, because you can't kill the uh, supports very quick with the RL. Well, Snyder is going in pretty fast, and he nearly got the second kill here. Very nice attempt, but sadly he was just waiting in a the corner there. Trying to end it all. Not bad of a choice for him to just wait, drop the ghost, and grab a weapon instead, because in the end, it's in their favor, and timing out wouldn't have been too bad. But yep. I'm pretty sure this win is something they are pretty happy about instead. No swapping between Enigma and Beans. So there's only one X still. So Snala is just going through the basement fairly quickly now with the Jedi, then holding himself on top of the shelves, trying to just, you know, don't get too much attention and maybe pick them off without them realizing he's there. Lady already all the way up to the ghost at the lower tarmac, checking out the situation. They could potentially try to go for a cap, because it is in the favor of them. Lady could just drop onto the ghost and start pushing it forward, going up the stairs, he wouldn't be far away from it. Snala also took out beans, so there's not as much oppression as it would be. They know where at least Enignot is, I'm not sure if they saw Smile that man. Choose not to go for a ghost, though. It would be the per like close to the perfect time, regardless of regardless of flanks of being there. Gets a kill. A very hasty trade, and then an ignat just getting finished off as well. It is the first yeah. map. Three lieutenants against the sergeant and two corporals as the final scores. A pretty heavy snowball, I would say, because they had a lieutenant before the other team even had a sergeant, as far as I recall. Or Wendy's match, next couple of rounds, rather. So, seems like they're picking oil stand for the next map. People not keen on transit for a good reason, because I'm just imagining them per uh, predicting that Snala will end up being extremely aggressive on transit. And uh, having seen the play styles now, both of them, besides... Snala doing a few daring pushes have been, oh whoops, um, there we go, spectate, have been on a of some aggression, but also defensive plays, so, I mean, it will boil down to transit if they win this map now, otherwise it would just mean that it's another two, two map match. I personally am hoping for the third map as per usual, because the more we get into the thrill of it getting getting close the better though i clearly can state that uncertain love triangle will end up being the underdog during this match from what we have seen just now regardless yeah. of snyla have like not playing in a long time he seem still seems to be kind of on a ball about what's going on and how to handle situations like that he's been getting a little bit of uh warm-up kind of games in occasionally